Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first one you've seen, I recommend going and checking out the first one. It's of the fire and the demo. This one is mostly the rebuild, or at least the start of the rebuild. Uh, the ones to follow will be just the infrastructure that's, that is my shop, the things I make, things I try and make, things I fail miserably at trying to make. Of course, there are very few. Well, at least that you'll see. Yeah, I won't show you all of them. Unless they're entertaining, then I probably will. That is a 600 pound manganese stone crusher that we acquired from our local scrapyard. It was how he didn't hit the power line taking it down. Everyone was very proud. We're standing walls. We got a course of block laid all the way around with the help from my neighbor John. And walls went up relatively quick. Only it got video of, well, one of them. You've seen one wall, you've seen it all. The exciting day of trusses get delivered. After a lot of communication with Menards, they said it was at the bottom of the load and it would be dropped off at the end of the day. I go to work. Get a call from Amy. Oh no, they're here. Fortunately, we had Mr. Sean Motes here of Fox Hill Ventures, who was a consultant for a company I was working for at the time. He was able to unload them and Amy said like a champ. Due to my excitement and impatience, first thing I did when I got home, I'm like, all right, let's open these bundles, get the gable ends off there and start swinging them in place. And then someone with more experience, knowledge and patience than me shows up, he's like, hold on. That ain't gonna work, we need to move them over. So after going back and forth, okay, yep, move some more stuff. But we got everything moved and it's time to lift the trusses up there. Things that were issues were the power wire going across the peak of the roof and the pot in the way so we couldn't really get into where we needed to. Next, time to start sheeting. I did 90% of that by myself. Um, I did have some help, but most of that was done by me.
be sure to tune in next week to check out what we've done on the inside, how we've reused some of the materials from the old garage and things to come in the future. Thank you.